Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts. Mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Mammoth. Contact Report 055. To serve as another example, an earth animal which is known to you as a mammoth through the finding of remains, etc. This animal as well, like all others, has also slowly changed to a higher form through the earth's evolution, through the period of glaciation, in appearance as well as in its animal instincts, a spirit form, as it has also happened with all other animal life forms, for example also with the dinosaurs. The mammoth, as it is called by you and us, lived in very early times, mainly in colder regions, which is why it was also very shaggy and, in its earliest primeval development, also had two differently attached large teeth, with one bent upwards and the other bent downwards, which was very useful for defense and the procurement of food. Through the evolution of the Earth, thus also through the Ice Ages, each species of these animal forms changed to a higher species, received a different external and animal appearance and instinctual intelligence capability. Due to these new evolutive circumstances, it migrated to warmer areas to further evolve, but where it no longer lives on the earth today, not even in a changed, higher form. The last specimens of the other species, that is to say the mammoth, died out about 8,000 years ago. You mean the elephant? No, it is not the most distant descendant of an earliest species of mammoth. Gigantic plants and animals change through Earth's evolution to new, different-looking life forms. That was actually clear to me in the main features. How do you think biologists and zoologists would react if they were told that? They would dismiss us as insane. They are still very unfamiliar with the truth. Okay, you are right about that. They just want to know everything better and do not want to be lectured. Contact Report 215 Only a few thousand years ago, this giant sloth, Megatherium, lived in North and South America. But it was hunted by humans for its great-tasting meat until it was wiped out, as this also happened with the mammoth, which was also largely eliminated by the humans at that time, while the remaining animals found their end through climatic upheavals and natural disasters. And since I speak now of the mammoth, you will surely ask about the elephants respectively for their actual original original forefathers. This was the Neuraterium, which also lived millions of years ago and which developed over a very long evolutionary process into what you now know as the elephant. You said that along with the fact that humans have contributed to the disappearance of the mammoths from the earth, in the end, also climate changes were responsible for this. That's right. Humans very well eradicated the mammoth as far as possible, but the final extinction was caused by climate changes. The mammoth disappeared, yes, about 10,000 years ago. That only partially represents the truth, because the last of these animals still lived 3,500 years ago, on an island to the far north of today's Soviet Union. However, it is true that about 10,000 years ago, Mammoths were very strongly reduced by humans, who hunted them very much for their meat, hides, and bones. The meat was used as tasty food, while the hides and the bones found use for the building of huts. Contact Report 246 At the beginning of my contact with Simya Se, I once asked her about the mammoth, which lived on the earth until about 8,000 years ago whereby North America, in particular, is to be mentioned in this respect, where it finally appeared in smaller herds. Sim Ya Se said at that time that the mammoth was the only form of life that had teeth that were directed in different directions, 
one large curved tooth pointing upwards and the other downwards. Subsequently, which unfortunately was not mentioned in that contact report, she explained to me that these teeth did not carry the actual mammoth, which is generally known, but a so-called early mammoth, which, if I remember correctly, was called Pangaea or Pangaea, and which belongs to the genus Dinotherium, that is to say Dinotherium, which are also known as Mastodons, and which populated Earth for about 25 million years, and were the first precursors of the Proboscideans, and especially of mammoths and elephants. But it was also only one species of the genus Dinotherium, which had the curiosity of a tooth bent upwards and downwards, both of which were attached to the upper jaw. Is this true? I was asked a question that answered this question, which I answered in this form, trusting that Sim Yase had actually explained things to me correctly, which I have no doubt about. There is also no reason to doubt my daughter's statement, because in fact the facts are given as you just called them, only that they are not known or only partly known by earthly paleontologists. Contact Report 795 Also, when I was a young boy, Svath taught me a great deal concerning nature and natural creatures such as that the mammoth and the elephant can sense impending earthquakes and move to safety by pressing the trunk fingers, that is, the extensions of the trunk, to the ground, thus sensing the earth's seismic swinging waves.